always makes me feel welcome home. Northside's newest school namesake knows it's possible to travel the world and never leave home. She has gone on great adventures to far off destinations, but she knows the greatest wonders are the ones you discover by opening up a book. As a librarian for more than 20 years, Rita K. Driggers shared her passion for reading with thousands of students. I just think um, libraries are really a key to the world as a whole. They help us relate, they help us understand. It's important to the world we live in. Now at Driggers Elementary School, a new story unfolds of a school that proudly proclaims, Welcome to Hound Country, where readers are leaders. You ain't nothing but a hound dog The story of Rita K. Driggers' life begins in Fort Worth, Texas, with a little girl who had a love of family and a love of reading. I remember growing up, getting on the bus, in front of my house at about eight years old and riding downtown and getting off in front of the public library, going in, getting my books and sitting on the steps until the next bus came and riding back home. She didn't travel far for college, earning a bachelor's degree from Texas Christian University in Fort Worth. She was voted Miss TCU and proudly became a Horn Frog cheerleader. At that time, it was my dream come true. I had been a cheerleader in high school and I just thought it was the most fun. I loved my great big TCU megaphone, still have it to this day. It has been all over the world. And so has she. Rita Kay always wanted to explore the world. So after earning her master's degree, her first job as a librarian was at a military base in Puerto Rico and later in France. It would change her life. The day I got there, the young Bachelor officers came to help us get our bags out of the bus and up to our BOQ rooms. And um, there was this cute fellow with brown eyes who uh, helped me move in. And uh, that was Milton. And a year from that August, we were married. The couple married at the TCU Chapel and now, 42 years later, have three children and nine grandchildren. The military family relocated often but in 1980, Rita K. Driggers came to Northside, first as librarian at Glen Elementary School, then at Shenandoah Elementary School, later renamed Hausman Elementary School, and later at Cody Elementary School. Rita K. always took her role as librarian seriously. One student in particular kept her on her toes. She came in every day after school and said, Mrs. Driggers, what would I like to read today? And it was a challenge to me. And I just thought, what a great opportunity to really guide someone to the good things. I mean, you can read your whole life and not read anything that matters. I just realized that that is a real, a real opportunity and a real responsibility to be able to guide children's reading. With Rita K. Driggers as your librarian, you had an entertainer and a storyteller. Someone who enchanted students using puppets and folklore. Some were not easily impressed. I always, when I introduced a story, told about the author and the illustrator and how they came to do this and so forth. And one little boy leaned over to me one time and he said, get to the story. <laughs> I thought, well, <laughs> now there's an idea. <laughs> Rita Kay opened two new Northside libraries at Elrod in 1988 and May in 1997. She believes a happy library is a busy library and it should always be a place to curl up and get lost in a good book. The library was Rita Kay's rigorous library, but, but more than that, it was everybody's library. Everybody felt free to come and go and uh, there was always something going on in that library. Rita Kay was one of the first Northside librarians to introduce the Accelerated Reader Program. In the beginning, students worked on donated computers that had once been used in Desert Storm. The program was soon a hit at Elrod. You know, when I grew up, going to the library, you know, it was very quiet, you couldn't talk, you couldn't do anything. You go and you checked out a book and you got it and that was it. Or well, going into her library, everything was going on. And especially when the Accelerated Reader Program started. 
I mean, you had kids lined up out the door. The library was also packed when she brought in guest authors and illustrators to meet with students and sign copies of their books. The warm atmosphere, combined with Rita Kay's lively personality, made the library a magnet for children. I saw her interacting with kids and just her personality, her excitement for reading, the, the fact that she was very obvious she liked kids, that made her library very inviting and from that one uh, first impression I knew I wanted to work with Rita Kay someday. And so did many others. Rita Kay Driggers is a three-time Campus Educator of the Year who earned the respect of her peers as a trusted campus resource. She also attracted the attention of Northside leaders. I asked the library director to tell me who our best librarians were. And uh, I actually, during my career, uh, worked with four different library directors. And there were some differences in the list they provided. They, they may have, one may have given me three and another one five. But Rita Kay was always on the list. And usually she, the, she was the first one that they mentioned. Her impact was also felt on the district level. She served four years on the Northside Education Improvement Council and helped develop district curriculum and reading lists. Rita Kay retired from Northside in 2001, but just like in any good book, there's always a next chapter. This one titled Namesake. Rita K. Driggers Elementary School is one of 11 new schools built from the $439 million bond approved by voters in 2004. It's located off of Grissom Road, across from Tyker Student Services. I may be retired too early. <laughs> Before school started, Rita K. volunteered her expertise to help set up the library. She was also oh, there to greet students and parents on the I'll first day. I'm going to be his friend. Oh, good. You know, friends are very important to our school, aren't they? Driggers Elementary School is already bursting with hound dog pride. From the curtains in the learning lab to wreaths on classroom doors. It's a place where WOOF stands for working on our future. And the students are proving every day that readers are leaders. Dan Dano's eyebrows cringed. You're not after me. The friendly faces of the Driggers Hounds greet you from classroom to classroom. They're proud to show off what they're learning. Okay, that bird. Students have access to state-of-the-art technology that teachers incorporate into classwork. The library is at the center of the school, a hub for technology and information. If students look closely, they might also discover their namesake lending a helping hand. Students and staff will always be able to exercise with a hound walk through the hallways. Oh, I stood up. You've got to watch me. We so, so. Mastering the school song is on the agenda in music class. And the assignment in art class is to sketch gesture drawings as the teacher poses in the front of the room. Let's read the word. Point with your finger. Let's read the word. Raccoon. At Driggers Elementary School, there's a strong belief that reading is the path to success. Keeping in mind, uh, Mrs. Driggers is our first librarian uh, to have a school named after her. And um, she and I talked, and you can't do anything in life without reading. So it was very important that we had a theme that brought that out. And readers are leaders. Illustrator makes the pictures. That's what illustrators do. OK, maybe that will help you remember. So Rita K. Driggers will no doubt encourage students to continue their adventures through reading. However, her newest adventure isn't found in the pages of any book. Instead, it's at her namesake school. The Hound story is just beginning. Zero science.